Welcome to DJI Mini 4 Pro tutorial. We will guide you through the unboxing and first use process of the product. Open the package and take out the aircraft, remote controller, and accessories. Downloading the DJI Fly app. Scan the QR code on the package to download and install the DJI Fly app. You can also watch the tutorial videos and read the user manual after scanning the QR code. Remove the propeller holder and gimbal protector. Unfold the aircraft arms in turn. Insert the micro SD card. Use a charger to charge and activate the battery through the USB-C port of the aircraft. When the battery indicators are on, it means the battery has been successfully activated. Take out the control sticks from the storage slots and mount them. Pull out the mobile device holder and you will find the remote controller cable. The connector on the right with an RC icon should connect with the remote controller. The other connector on the left should connect to your mobile device. Place your mobile device in the holder with the charging port on the right side. Secure your mobile device in place and then connect the remote controller cable. Unfold the antennas. Take out the control sticks from the storage slots and mount them. Press the power button once, and then again and hold for about two seconds to turn the remote controller on or off. Select language and country or region after powering on. Connect the remote controller to a Wi-Fi network and select the time zone, date, and time. For new users, please register before logging in. Log in with your DJI account if you already have one. After successfully logging in, an activation prompt will appear on the screen. Tap to activate. After activation, tap start to go through the function guide of DJI RC2. Press the power button once, and then again, and hold for about two seconds to power on the aircraft and remote controller, respectively. Launch DJI Fly and follow the prompts to activate the aircraft. After activation, the aircraft is bound to the remote controller automatically. If you have purchased or intend to purchase DJI Care Refresh, please finish the purchase and binding within 48 hours of activating the aircraft. A prompt will appear on the top left of the screen if a firmware update is available. Tap the prompt to enter the update screen. Tap Update to update all devices to the latest firmware version. During the update, do not power off the device or exit the DJI Fly app. Choose an open, unobstructed environment to fly. Remove the propeller holder and gimbal protector. Unfold the aircraft arms in turn. Make sure that a micro SD card has been inserted and the propellers and battery are securely installed. Place the aircraft on level ground with the rear facing you. During takeoff, Toggle the flight mode switch of the remote controller to end mode. Launch DJI Fly, open system settings and tap safety. Set the RTH height higher than the tallest building or nearby object. And set the obstacle avoidance action to bypass or break. Make sure that the GNSS status icon is white and the DJI Fly app issues a voice prompt, home point updated. Tap the takeoff icon on the left and press and hold the prompt icon to enable auto takeoff. After takeoff, the icon on the left will change to landing. Tap the landing icon and press and hold the prompt to make the aircraft land automatically. Take mode 2 as an example. To take off manually, pull both control sticks all the way down and then push them inwards or outwards. When the propeller starts spinning, gently push the left control stick up to manually take off. The left control stick is used for adjusting the aircraft altitude and orientation. The right control stick allows the aircraft to move forward, backward, and to the left and right. After you start the motors, if the aircraft has not taken off, 
pull down the left control stick to stop the motors. If the aircraft has taken off, pull down the left stick to land. Press the flight pause button on the remote controller once to make the aircraft brake and hover. You can view the flight distance and speed in the bottom left corner of the app. Keep the remote controller antennas facing the aircraft during flight for optimal transmission. When the GNSS signal is weak, the compass encounters interference, or the environment lighting is not adequate, the aircraft will enter attitude mode and cannot hover or auto brake. To avoid accidents, please land in a safe location as soon as possible. Locate the focus shutter button on the top right corner of the remote controller. Press halfway to activate autofocus, and press all the way down once to take a photo. The record button is located in the top left corner of the remote controller. Press to start recording and press again to stop. The dial on the left side controls the gimbal tilt. Use the dial on the right side to adjust the camera zoom. Tap the landscape portrait switch icon or press the C2 button on the remote controller once to switch between landscape and portrait mode. Enter the camera parameter setting from the bottom right to adjust other camera parameters. Tap the playback icon on the right side to view and download your footage. Tap the RTH icon on the left side of the app or press and hold the RTH button on the remote controller to initiate RTH. The aircraft will also activate RTH or land in the following situations. When the current battery level is only sufficient for performing RTH, a prompt will appear on the DJI Fly app. When the current battery level is only sufficient for landing, the aircraft will initiate force land. When the aircraft is disconnected from the remote controller, the aircraft will perform RTH by default. Quick Transfer helps to quickly transfer the footage from the aircraft to your mobile device. Method 1. Power on the aircraft. Enable the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and location feature on the mobile device. Launch DJI Fly. A prompt will appear to guide you to connect the mobile device to the aircraft. When connecting for the first time, press and hold the power button of the aircraft for two seconds to confirm connection. Once successfully connected, the files on the aircraft can be accessed from the mobile device and downloaded at high speed. Method 2. When the aircraft is connected to the mobile device via the DJI RCN2 and the aircraft is not in flight, enable the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, launch DJI Fly, and enter the playback album. Tap the quick transfer icon on the top right of the screen to access the aircraft album and download footage. Fold the aircraft arm. Attach the gimbal protector and propeller holder. Be careful not to press down on the propellers when attaching the propeller holder. Insert the battery into the aircraft. Connect a charger to the USB-C port of the aircraft to charge the battery. You can also use DJI Charging Hub to charge the batteries. The battery with the highest power level will be charged first. The rest will be charged in sequence according to their power levels. The aircraft has two different types of motors and propellers that pair up. Propeller A and motor A are marked to distinguish from propeller B and motor B. Any propeller that is deformed, corroded, or with loose screws should be replaced. When replacing a propeller, use the Phillips screwdriver and the screws provided in the package. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your flight.